Hey guys, thanks for joining me. So today I'm going to be doing a taste test from Trader Joe's. I went to Trader Joe's yesterday and it was actually my first time going. So I just decided to pick up some stuff that looked good or looked tolerable. And yeah, of course they're all vegan. So, yeah. So the first thing I wanted to try is this. It's the Trader Joe's brand. Um mozzarella style shreds so first I'm gonna taste it like this just like by a piece so So, this is pretty good actually. Um, yeah, uh, it tastes a lot like mozzarella cheese, which is really saying something. And plus, it's vegan. Mmm. Mmm. And now I'm gonna try it um, melted. So, I, yeah, you can see that it really stretches out. <laughs> Mmm. That is really good. Not exactly like mozzarella, but pretty comparable. Mmm. Yeah. I give that probably a 7 out of 10 because it is really fatty. The second ingredient is canola oil. So, the second thing I want to try are these roasted coconut chips. Again, the Trader Joe's brand. So, let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Really, really good. Mmm. Wow. That is really good. I definitely give this like a nine and a half out of ten. Mmm. So the second the third thing I want to try are these Tofurky jelly slices. Um these are not exclusive to Trader Joe's. I've seen them at various supermarkets as well. Um, it says you can have it both hot and cold. So first I'm going to have it hot. This is what it looks like. It looks really bland. So, Oh, and it's my first time tasting fake meat. I've never had fake meat before, so let's see how it tastes like. Um, not the best. Um, again, I don't know what it, what to compare it to because I've never had meat before. But I do like the chewiness of it. The flavor, though, is a little weird. Now I'm gonna have it cooked. Well, kind of microwaved. This is what it looks like when it's microwaved. It forms these little bubbles. I think it definitely tastes better when it's cooked or microwaved, like I did. So, I would give this, the cooked one, like, 
a 4 out of 10, and the non-cooked one, like, a 2 out of 10. Uh, yeah, and the last thing I have is uh, vegan cream cheese. I've actually never had vegan cream cheese before. So, yeah, the reason I wanted to get cream cheese, in fact, I made the trip all the way to Trader Joe's to get the Tofuti cream cheese, but, it, but they didn't have it. So, I had to settle for something else. So... Definitely really watery. Okay. This does not taste like cream cheese. It tastes a lot like butter. Um, yeah, definitely tastes a lot like butter to me. So, in my opinion, it's not the best cream cheese substitute, but it is a very good butter substitute. So, in terms of it being a cream cheese, I give it a 2. But in terms of it being a butter, I give it like a 7 because it tastes a lot like butter than cream cheese. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, I forgot to show you my receipts. So, yeah, the... Yeah, so I got this stuff, and I also got two cans of black beans. So the total came out to about $12.04. I mean, this is not something I would do every day, of course, but I just wanted to try it, try these foods, um, experiment a little bit. The fake meat was definitely, like, my least favorite. Um, the roasted coconut chips were really, really good. So, yeah, I just wanted, like, to tell you guys, it is so easy to be vegan. Like, there are vegan substitutes for everything these days. Like, these mozzarella shreds were really good. Mm. They, of course, they didn't have the exact taste of the mozzarella cheese, but it tastes very, very similar to it. So, if you're craving cheese, or if you're craving meats, or cream cheese even, there is a vegan substitute, and it's healthier. It's not healthy, but it's healthier. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and I'll see you next time. Bye!